one time here at Unique Specialty and Classics. 1971 Ford Mustang Mach 1 Sports Roof or Fastback. Real deal Mach 1. Uh, body coat on it, 63R. Great story behind this car. Good looking car. Original mile car. Where do I start? Let's start with the engine. 351 Cleveland. Numbers matching. Power steering. AC. AC component still there. That's paired up with an automatic transmission, the FMX automatic transmission. This is silver pewter metallic V paint code. Listen to this. Less than 13,000 original miles on this car. It's a two owner car. The second owner has had it since the mid 70s. Actually purchased it as a young man. Went with his dad to the bank. Dad co-signed for him. He had a 67 or so dollar month of payment, trying to figure out how he was gonna pull that off. Drove it sparingly, just felt it was too nice to drive, but loved the car, hung on to it all this time. Now it is available to purchase. Take your time looking through the still pictures, uniqueclassiccars.com. Click on the link down below this video in the description. That's gonna take you right there. And of course you can call us, 507-386-1726. All original glass, all original bright work. Unfortunately, the antenna was damaged in storage. That's something we could fix here at the shop. Easy enough to do, radio still works. Had it working a little bit ago. We're gonna get in the interior of this car. I'm gonna show you the original interior. Uh, we're gonna start it up. Let's hear it run at the very end of this video. We're gonna take it for a drive, show you how it drives out. As far as the wheels, those are brand new. Magnum 500 wheels. BF Goodrich radials. Now, as far as the original, supposed to be biased too, original tires, the second owner, gentleman that brought this car to us, still has the original tires date coded. They're on the wheels. Unfortunately, they do not hold air, so I took them off. Eventually, they're gonna leak out just due to the age of the tire. The wheel covers and the beauty ring that would have come with this car are in the trunk. If you wanted to bring it back to original, now, as far as the paint, you can see it has a nice shine to it. I wouldn't be afraid to get into this car, go to your local roll-ins, cruise-ins, your local shows, but there are some imperfections in the paint. I'll try to point those out uh, before the end of this video. We'll kind of go around and do that too. Remember, we do consider trades. Financing is available. Of course, we can assist with transportation, and this vehicle may be eligible for an extended service contract. Consult with your sales associate when you call in or email. So there's a few spots, you can kind of look down here where there's been a little bit of touch up. Basically the paint just is flaked off in areas and a few touch up spots in it. The DSO on this car is Twin Cities, which would be Minneapolis and St. Paul. It's where the gentleman still lives. That's where the car came from. Um, Three to one gear ratio in the rear, standard differential. You'll be able to see the data tag in with the still pictures. You're also gonna see the stamping from the engine, numbers matching, 351 underneath the hood. Some recent service work was done to this. It does have a fresh oil change, new brakes, uh, pads and shoes, new front calipers and wheel cylinders, new brake hoses and master cylinder, uh, carb gone through, It'll start up, this thing runs smooth. Another thing I want to tell you about is when you look at the underside of this car in the still pictures, we did not cover anything up. We wanted to leave it because it is so original. There's no undercoating on there. We left it just the way it is, not hiding anything. You'll be able to see the original floor pans and everything underneath this car. Is there some scaling just from age? Yes, but we're not going to brush that off. We're not going to undercoat over it. Not going to try to cover up anything, make it look pretty, because we want you to see the original pans and how the underside of this car is. Now, a few paint spots right here down on the bottom, too. Had a little bit of paint flaked off. Has been touched up. A few spots along over in the door. And again, man, with the age of this car, paint showing well. There was a little bit of light scratching. At one time, he said where this was stored at. There was things 
that were set on it in the garage or what have you underneath a sheet but there are some imperfections in the paint but as you can see I would not be afraid to drive this car show it have some fun with it very small and it's kind of tough for me even to get to show up in the uh, video here okay on to the interior and again original interior less than 13,000 miles in this car door panels that data tag I mentioned take a look at the still pictures at the underside of the doors he also stated since he had it in the mid 70s he would not take it out in any sort of inclement weather after spending the money just basically was kind of afraid to drive it much because it was such a nice car to him back there and of course he was forking over some hard earned dough to get this car interior just it's amazing take a look at the dash you'll be able to see the rear seats I have them folded up in the still pictures but I just had, wanted to leave this down the carpeting's not faded at all in this rear portion with the fastback and again the vinyl seats and everything great condition I have had the wipers working I mentioned earlier the AM radio works it is an AM 8 track believe it or not uh, AC compressor will kick on and off it's still R12 uh, may need to be converted and, and charged but the uh, compressor is working it has all the components there all right here it is there's your miles 12,671 Listen how that car started it just pops off every time I've been in here tachometer working fuel gauge working come over here to your gauge cluster oil pressure looking good and that was a cold start so I wouldn't expect the temp gauge to be up let's go ahead and turn up the radio to walk into a store and dump his head in a vat of pickles Just incredible interior. Take a look at that dash. Of course, passenger seat looks as good as the driver's seat. Original floor mats, the rubber variety, great shape. That's reflection off the dome light because of how clean and nice a shape they're in yet. Speaking of dome light working, headliner all good. You know, for a Young gentleman to have this, not cut it up, put speakers in it, change the exhaust around. It sounds like it would have sounded when it rolled off the showroom floor back in 1971. How cool. Alright, let me slip up to the front. One thing I want to mention quick too before we check out the engine bay. Don't forget, if you like cars like this, maybe 70s muscle cars, um, the stories behind them, Go ahead and subscribe to our YouTube channel. You never know what you may see come through here and be available to purchase. So go ahead and subscribe to that. Uh, videos are uploaded daily, so keep checking them out. I'm going to go ahead and pause this a second, and uh, let's check out the engine bay. Check out the underside of that hood and how clean that is. This car is just amazing, again, considering the age. There's the engine bay, very stock looking. It's a 351. Again, Cleveland. I mentioned the master cylinder. There it is. You can see uh, AC compressor powered steering. There is a battery disconnect over here. how smooth that runs and again just great looking stock engine bay stick around to the very end of this video we're taking this car for a drive i think i know how it's going to go down the road but it dries out pretty darn nice remember that service work that was done to it any questions call us 507-386-1726
uniqueclassiccars.com. Check out all the still pictures. Look at those undersides. We didn't touch a thing. Left them so you can see the original pans. We do consider trades. Financing is available. Of course, we can assist with transportation. And this vehicle may be eligible for an extended service contract. Consult with your sales associate when you call in or email. Hey, did you know that this car qualifies for an extended warranty? It's just like the one you get at your new car dealership, except it covers your classic car instead. It covers all the major components like engine, transmission, drivetrain, and you can get coverage up to 10 years. Repairs aren't cheap. These extended warranties are a no-brainer. Contact us for a quote on this car today. Today we're driving a 1971 Ford Mustang. This car in very good condition. The interior looking very nice. Factory looking vinyl bucket seats. Both our turn signal indicators are working. Fuel gauge is showing a half of the tank. Factory tachometer and factory speedometer working great. Oil pressure is showing about three quarters of the gauge and the alternator is right in the middle. That looks good. The only gauge that hasn't moved is the temperature. That is sitting on cold right now. Factory radio. He makes it into state next year. Picking up AM stations while blower motor works, wipers work. This is an automatic on the center console. All that looks really good. This car has been well maintained in my opinion. Not much for wind noise. Nice ride out of this car. Good throttle response as you'd expect. For a 71 Ford Mustang. Even the factory horn working well. No cracks in that steering wheel that I can see. This body style of Mustang, although Gone in 60 Seconds was made more popular, I think, by the second movie, this is the body style that was in the first movie. If you've ever seen it, it was a yellow Mustang of this era. Nice smooth ride. If I let go of the wheel, this car stays right where you put it. It doesn't pull to either side. Original sounding to me, very stock appearing. Definitely want to take a look at all the pictures and learn more about this Mustang at uniqueclassiccars.com.